Hello, welcome to a feature update and a tutorial uh, for Diddy Body Commerce on how to set up a order bump. This is a pretty cool new feature we've just added uh, as of uh, March 2020. So you may be looking back in the past, in the future. Uh, and what this what this what this does is it allows you to add a um, a product at discount, so a product at checkout at a, at a discount that you specify. So if your visitor or customer has added a certain product to cart. You can target that product uh, to get an upsell. It's quite a cool way. So let me just show you how it works. So here I've added on my test website, which looks brilliant, by the way. I've added a product called Belt, and in there, uh, when you scroll down to place an order, we have this: get this discount now, get thirty percent off just for you today. And uh, you, all you have to do is just uh, check the box, and it adds it to the cart. And then from there you can just place the order and if they don't want it they can just remove it from there so it's brilliant because it doesn't allow the user to have to leave the checkout page uh, and it gives them a discount a genuine discount uh, this can increase sales uh, we believe because yeah one you're giving them value uh, and two it doesn't require them to have to leave the page in order to get the value so we go to the settings, uh, and on the settings page, we're going to have uh, first thing we're going to do is to go to order order bump. So do the engine body commerce order bump and click yes to enable order bump. Now there may be some different settings because, the, as I said, this has just been launched, and what we like to do is we like to launch it, hear feedback from our customers who use body commerce, and then add new stuff and make it better and better. So no doubt there's going to be more settings uh, here. Currently, we have uh, you know to uh, enable order bump. Yes, then the type of product you want to show. So the first thing is you can choose a specific product if you only want a specific product to cart. So for example, if I choose if I want a cap, then no matter what cart, no, no matter what product is in my cart, it's always going to show the cap product. There we go. So you can see the cap. Uh, so that's if like if you let's say you could you could even create a product called uh, I don't know, you can have a shipping product, I don't know, just for yourself, where if they add it to cart, they get free shipping or premium fit shipping or, I don't know, something like that. The second option is uh, f uh, first upsell products. So what that is, is when you specify an upsell product on your on your product, uh, it will show that. So I want to choose that one, and I'm just going to go to um, my products just to show you the belt. On belt. Okay, so let's go into the belt. Okay, so in here you go down to links products and in here I have upsells and cross sells. So in upsells I've added sunglasses. So this could be anything. Let's say you we we reached out on Facebook, and let's say uh, and some of you suggested. So I'm gonna use that as an example. Let's say you sell pet food, and you have a bag of dog food, and you want to sell a dog bowl. You could add an upsell as a dog bowl, and then they can, a checkout can be like that. Or you could have insurance. So let's say you're buying a a computer, you could have insurance, or uh, uh, like a virus protection or something. You can have it in the upsells. On the cross sells, so here I've chosen the first upsell product. So then, therefore, this specific product would be it wouldn't wouldn't matter. So it's going to show the first upsell product, which will be the sunglasses. Uh, then I'm gonna I'm gonna show you a cross sell, and in the cross sells we have album cap and single. So if I re reload this page, it should show album. There we go. Now it's showing the album. Okay, so how it works, you need to create a template, and the template is what this over here, what this, uh, what the user is showing. Okay, so here I've added, I don't need a template, and I've, I've added a section. In there I've added the loop layout thumbnail, which will show the product thumbnail. I've just added some text saying, get this discount now, 30% for you today. Title, uh, I've made H3. This is the product title. Now there's some 
new modules which we've added uh, and you can see this CF or check checkout funnel order bump price and order bump add now we're going to be adding more stuff so this is just the beginning uh, the price is going to show the price uh, at the reduced rate and then the ad is going to show the checkbox so you can see in the visual builder there it's there as well and then you can add a background you can do uh, sorry you can add some box shadow you can add borders whatever so we've added a written nice red well not nice but red border with just a dots dash okay so there's the layout we've created so the key things you, you must have is this order bump add module and what this will do is add the checkbox for them to add to cart percentage off so specify the percentage off oh, I was just testing there so actually it should be 30 because I'm specifying 30 choose a position so you could have it uh, before payments and then this over here is what's the order bump suffix so once the product's been added to cart it will uh, it will add a suffix to the to the products so you can see I've moved it up above the payment because I've changed it to be before payment now if I click on that it will add it to cart and then you'll see over here it will say discounted so I've just added discounted just for my own sanity so when I'm looking at the orders I know that they've used that I mean you can see it's discounted because the price is also uh, reduced and that's it really so you can you can also move it above the cart if you want to have like a big one over there um, but that's it nice and simple and as I said no doubt we'll probably be expanding this and making it more interesting and more ways you can do it now the one thing it does do it it won't okay so if you it, it'll remember who the the parent uh, product is so if the customer removes the product parent product, it'll also remove the discounted product as well. So that's for your own safety. Uh, it also, if if they've already bought the product, it won't show for them. Um, so there's some other parameters which which you know you can check out documentation, but that's pretty much it. Uh, hope you all enjoy it, and yeah. So uh, we're gonna be adding more features like this. We're also gonna add like an upsell. So after they press place order. Um, have some more stuff saying like would you like this anyway so we're going to be adding more in the future but this is the first of the checkout funnel for Divi Body Commerce hope you have a great day thanks